Hello everyone, welcome to Anchor Training. Today we will see how to work with the Chrome and Firefox in headless mode. The agenda of this video is to know what is Chrome Options class, what is Firefox Options class, test case execution using Chrome in headless mode, test case execution using Firefox in headless mode. What is Chrome Options class? Chrome Options class is available in org.openqa.selenium.chrome uh, package. So this class is used to manage the options specific to Chrome browser. In our case, we are going to use one method called as the add argument. It takes the string argument. In this one, we'll pass the headless option. As you can see in the example, we'll create a Chrome options object and then we'll call the add argument method with the headless. And we'll pass this object to the Chrome driver object. Firefox options is also similar to Chrome options, but this class is targeted towards Firefox specific options. Firefox options is class is also similar to Chrome options, whereas this class is used to manage the options specific to Firefox. This class is available in the org.openq.selenium.firefox package. I have added Chrome driver Firefox driver to this project already. And I also added the required jar files for Selenium. So let me create one test case. I'll give the name as Chrome and Firefox headless. So here we'll try to capture some element from the website Anchor. So here we have this paragraph. Let us try to fetch this text. So I'll say inspect. So this text is present in this paragraph. It's having a one class called as a lead. There is only one element with that class. I'll say control F dot lead. You can see that there is only one element. So we'll find this text. So I will copy paste these three lines. And after this, I'll say string yes is equal to driver dot find element by dot class name and class name is lead as we have seen that here I'll say dot get text. So this text let's print So then driver dot quit it will close the browser this is the usual way of running the test case wherein you will see the ui as you can see chrome browser has launched navigated to anchor website and closed the test case is also passed and the text is also printed here so this is the usual way how do we make this chrome browser to run in a headless so all we have to do is we have to create an object of Chrome options options is equal to new Chrome options and here I will call the method add argument here I will pass iPhone iPhone headless and this object I will pass it to the Chrome driver. So now let's run the test case again. So now this time you will see the output coming but the UI of the browser you will not be able to see that. And here you will see the test case being passed and also text has been captured but browser was not visible. So how we have done it for a Chrome browser, we can also do it with a Firefox. So then we have to create Firefox driver. So let's create Firefox options object. Options is equal to new Firefox options. Then I'll say options dot add arguments. 
and the text goes the same way iphone iphone headless so first we will execute the test case without passing this object without passing this object to the firefox we will see the ui and later we will pass the object then the ui will not be visible you can see firefox browser has been launched navigating to the ankpro website so it is closed but the text also it has read so let's go here you can see that the text has been available here so test case is also passed so now this time let's pass the options so i'll execute the same test case again the test case will pass it will extract the text but you will not see the ui of the browser test case is passed ui was not there but still it has extracted the text from the anchor anchor website so this is how we execute the chrome and firefox browsers in headless mode the possible interview questions on this topic are what is a chrome options class what is a firefox options class how do you execute a chrome and firefox browsers in headless mode if you like this video consider giving a thumbs up because we have spent a lot of effort in creating this video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel now that the probably you should as we are doing a lot of videos on selenium and testing right here on the ankpro training channel as always thank you for watching i will see you soon